there guys, Chronically Jenny here. It has been a long time since I've sat down and done a video for you. Um, the last ones I did were EDS Awareness Month, which feels like absolutely forever ago. And I suppose it was three months ago, so it kind of was a little bit. Um, but today I'm talking all about mobility aids and how people with chronic illnesses and disabilities might use different aids for different days. I'll be taking you through when I might use a wheelchair, when I might use my walker, and then I'll be taking you through my wonderful collection of walking sticks. Firstly, I'll talk about my wheelchair. Now, my wheelchair is something that I, touch wood, rarely have to use these days, but it is a great help when I need it. I first started using my wheelchair mainly after my surgeries to fix my CSF leak because my spine was bruised during one of the operations and it was extremely, extremely painful and making it difficult for me to walk and difficult for me to get out. I also found it a really, really good tool when my POTS was really bad and I couldn't stand at all um, for fear of passing out. I also use a wheelchair or something similar when I have days where my legs just don't want to work like legs. Um, I had that a couple of times at uni and because my wheelchair is a manual wheelchair that I find quite difficult to use because EDS makes it really difficult to use a manual wheelchair with shoulders that are hypermobile, I often would borrow a um, motorised scooter from the university and get to classes that way on days when my legs were heavy and useless. I do still use a wheelchair occasionally, especially when I have to go really long distances. For example, in an airport, um, I will always take the offer of a wheelchair. But as I say, I can't really use a manual wheelchair myself and I really, really hate being driven around. <laughs> um, so it just wasn't the ideal option for me, but it is an ideal option for many with EDS and POTS and other chronic illnesses. Something I use a lot more regularly is my walker. My walker is called Wilhelmina and we have a bit of a love-hate relationship. <laughs> um, I got my walker from an old man on Facebook <laughs> and I paid about £10 for it because the idea was I'd seen a lot of other um, YouTubers that used a walker and found it really, really helpful. So I was like, I want to try this, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. And um, here we are four or five years later using the same walker. <laughs> the brakes are gone, uh, I desperately need a new one. I am very seriously looking into a Rolls Motion um, walker which doubles as a wheelchair which I think would be really really helpful for me um, but for now Wilhelmina is my best friend. Um, I used her so much at uni. I decorated her, you can watch the video um, from just boring old blue to covered in zebra stripes and then a bit later on when I was feeling a bit down about using her I covered the seat in stickers with my favourite things so that when I was using it all I would see is my favourite things and I'd feel much better about using it. My walker is one of the most helpful tools um, especially for big days out because it has a seat so that with my pots I can sit down any time that I need to and also it has a compartment to hold things and I can put my bag on or books on and carry things really really easily that I might not be able to do otherwise. Reasons that I don't use my walker tend to be that she's quite heavy and also she's a bit of a faff to get in and out of the car uh, especially on my own. If I had one that folded a little bit better it might be more useful. I love my walker and highly recommend it to anyone. The only thing is sometimes putting that much weight through both your shoulders can be difficult and I can't use her at all if I've got one shoulder out for example. She definitely was the way that I got through uni and is definitely more useful in that kind of environment which is generally much more accessible than uh, some of your cobbled streets and that kind of thing. Finally my ultimate love and my walking stick collection. Um, these have grown so much over the years, especially with my discovery of Neo Walks, which if you've watched my videos, you will probably know something about. But if you don't, go check them out. You will want to after you've seen these sticks. But first, I thought I'd talk about my first walking stick. Well, unfortunately, my beloved Sticky is no longer with us. <laughs> um, I got Sticky 
mainly to help when going to physio appointments and things so that I could work on how to use it right with my physio but also so that when I was going to London on my own um, I had that extra bit of support and also that extra bit of confidence um, because I was so weak and so off balanced that it was just the right move for me and then after I'd had my surgeries it was helping me get back up out of my wheelchair and um, and get stronger in my legs which I needed after being so deconditioned. Unfortunately sticky got lost. When I'm using my walker I often put a walking stick on it because sometimes I have to leave my walker if I need to go upstairs or need to go somewhere else. So it must have happened at uni I went down to the bar and went home. I wasn't drinking, I don't know how it happened, but somewhere in between that, um, the walking stick must have fallen off my walker. So I put out wanted posters, uh, missing posters, trying to get her back. And eventually, after a month, not even that long, because I needed another stick, um, I, I decided she was, she was gone, she was a lost cause, and, um, and bought another one. But, three months later, uh, Sticky miraculously turned up at, um, at a lost and found in town. And my friend just happened to be working there and contacted me and we were reunited. However, since coming back from uni, Sticky has somehow disappeared again. But uh, I think I've got enough walking sticks now. <laughs> So, I'll introduce you to my second first walking stick. Um, this is Cecilia. She's kind of a classic walking stick. She is the same brand as Sticky was, which is Switch Sticks. Um, as you can see, she's very beaten up and well loved. Um, but Sticky was just black with kind of coloured spots on. So when I was looking for a new stick, I wanted something a little bit different and a little bit more to match my personality. I always think it helps with mobility aids, having something that you love and feel happy to use and proud to use um, and, and looks good. Um, we don't want kind of boring NAF medical aids. Um, so this is kind of my mermaid shiny, shiny stick. Um, she is lilac, but she does kind of go with most things. Um, she's adjustable and she can fold down so that if you needed to shove it in your bag for any reason, you could quite easily. Cecilia has been really good to me over the years and I know that I'm not going to use her as much now, but I do love her. Now, these are my favourite sticks in the world. Um, this is where my Neo Walks collection started and this is Bubbles. Um, Bubbles is a champagne fizz stick from Neo Walks and she was kindly gifted to me for the National Diversity Awards last year when I was nominated for a positive role model for disability. Um, she's made of acrylic and she's got all these bubbles in them so she looks really really pretty and they look really cool when they catch the light. Unfortunately they're not adjustable so this one is made for heels so although I can sort of use it without it's not as comfortable a position as with. She does go with literally anything and everything and that is why I love my champagne fizz stick so 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 much. Um, she has a standard handle but the next one I'm going to show you is a bit different. Lindsay and Neo Walks are so so good because they do empower people with disabilities to have fun with their mobility aids and, and have something that doesn't look boring and medical and something that you just don't want to use. Now, moving on to the actually the newest addition to my mobility aid family. This is Lola. She is red. Uh, she's a cherry bomb Neo Walk stick and again she's got these bubbles in the acrylic which look really really cool. Um, this time I chose the question mark handle and I have found it so much better. I have to say I don't like the look quite as much. However with bendy wrists it basically means that my weight is going straight through the middle of the stick. If you look at bubbles, I'm putting my weight here, but the stick's here. So it's not giving me the same amount of support and I'm putting more weight through my wrist because it's not giving me that level of support. Whereas with Lola, 
that's completely different because the whole stick is supporting right under where my wrist is. Um, so I found that really, really good and really, really handy. Now, finally, is a very, very special walking stick. It is an absolute world's first. So I'm very, very happy to be premiering it for you. Um, I have had it on my Instagram already, but just in case you haven't seen, this is Rapunzel. Now, at the start of lockdown, I was talking to Lindsay from Neo Walks about whether she did multicoloured sticks in terms of kind of an ombre effect going from pink to purple. Because basically, I'm indecisive and couldn't decide whether I wanted Lush Blush, which is this pink colour, or Amethyst Quartz, which is this lilac colour. So uh, we came up with this idea. Lindsay had been playing around with it for a while and decided that this was the moment to try it. So, it basically means that all the pieces come in separately and you can twist them so they come apart. So, this is really great because obviously it means you can fold it up and put it in a bag if you want to. Especially if I'm going on holiday, I could use one of my other sticks through the airport but still have this in my bag if I wanted something different. But also, it means you can change colours. So I can take out my pink piece and throw in a red. and throw in a blue and I will have a completely different stick to where I started. The handle is always going to be purple but hopefully in the future I can get different handles and different pieces so that you can have a completely rainbow stick. Um, I do love it, it's going to be called Tutti Fruity I think so keep an eye on when it is officially released. I'm so happy and proud to have the very first one. A mobility aid is just that, an aid. The easiest way I can find to explain it to someone who might not have a disability or a chronic illness is like my glasses. My glasses are an aid. I'm not wearing them now, but I can still sort of see. Not that well, but I can do it. I can do it enough to film this video. I can't do it enough to drive. So, if I was driving, I'd have to wear them. So it's just like my walking stick. I can walk without it, but it really, really helps to use it. It means I can do things longer and I'm in less pain, generally. But also, there are some times that I can't go without it at all. I hope that telling you a little bit more about my mobility aids has helped some people realise why people might need to use different aids for different days and why mobility aids are so important and so helpful. And I hope it might have given someone else out there with a disability or a chronic illness the, the confidence and the pride to go out and, and use your mobility aid with pride because if it helps you, then what's stopping you? Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. I will see you soon for another video.